If the word rabies just makes you think of the movie Old Yeller, then prepare to learn just how horrifying this disease actually is. It's easy to discount the horror of rabies, especially in the Western world. I mean, Louis Pasteur devised a preventative vaccine back in 1885, and if treated early, the disease is 100% curable. Rabies is an old enemy. References to the disease date back more than 4,000 years to the ancient Mesopotamians and the very dawn of recorded history. So let's break down what it does. Rabies is a viral disease that attacks the central nervous system. The virus enters the body, heads to the spinal column, and then goes straight to the brain for replication, and destruction. It's distressing enough to see the ravages of rabies in an animal, but in humans it's downright horrific. There are several different strains of rabies that we see, but we can break down the virus to two main types. On one hand, there's paralytic rabies, typified by weariness and lethargy. But encephalitic rabies is more common, and this is where we see the foaming at the mouth, the increased agitation, the aggression, the disorientation, and hallucinations. Whatever the strain, it all comes out at the same place, culminating in paralysis and death. But here's where it gets mind-blowing. It's not just a case of a crazy virus making a human act crazy. The rabies virus is an ingenious hacker. Once it takes over a host, it needs to spread. I mean, that's a genetic mission, and in order to fulfill this mission, it generates such symptoms as that mad dog in human rage and that foaming mouth. Because guess what's in that saliva? Rabies, ready to spread to the next animal or human via a bestial bite. What's more, the virus instills a strong aversion to water in its victim, animal or human, to ensure this frothy mouthful of death doesn't wash away. So if you're ever bit by a wild animal, especially a bat, seek medical attention as soon as possible. Because while 100% treatable in its early stages, rabies is highly fatal in the long term. So have you ever encountered a rabid animal? And if so, what did you do about it? If you don't have that experience to share, well, then let me know how this material makes you rethink your favorite zombie movies. Uh, I'd love to hear about all of this. You can leave a comment below, you can leave a video response, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming at you. So have you ever encountered a rabid animal? And if so, what did you do about it? If you don't have that experience to share, well, then let me know how this material makes you rethink your favorite zombie movies. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, as well as our homepage, StuffToBlowYourMind.com.